this is kind of strange. Today is the first Team Farang business trip or business flight. Walk up the water. Morning service to Copenhagen. When we are ready to go in a moment and the arrival will be on time. Weather in Copenhagen is uh, during the uh, morning hour presently. It's uh, a bit rainy. And uh, on the other hand, the uh, sea of Mandra. Copenhagen, you're my new favorite airport for having a free running setup. So I'm here for a meeting with Christina and Henrietta. We met Christina before, Henrietta I've never met before. Both of them are part of a team who's gonna help us put together the design for our shoe. So today's gonna be really exciting for me. Oh, alarm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have one. I didn't know. Okay. I think this is it. Um, it's not even like a, it's like a cheap idea. Hello? Hey. Hey. Come in. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Hello. Hi. Christina. Hey, Jason. Hey. And yet. <laughs> <Yeta. laughs> <laughs> All right, we have five hours to do this shoe stuff. What's gonna happen? Um, so we made a mood board of presentations mm -hmm. about what we could do. We talking about the general construction of your shoe, oh, wow. first of all, and then we came with some very cool patterns. We came actually first of all with quality ideas because quality is everything in mm -hmm. our design, and then we also will present you based on the input that was sent to us. We'll present you something. What you see here is kind of a brief I made for Christina and Yetta, just so they could prepare for today. It kind of talks about what kind of uh, preferences we have for shoes, what's important for us performance wise, oh shit, what kind of shoes have worked for free runners before and why, what's good, what's bad, talking about the details, kind of just giving the girls as much information as possible. That's what kind of our job is here when this kind of process is just tell them what do we like and why and then they can put together um, the details and how it technically would work so this also include kind of a visual mood board of what we like and uh, I didn't make this but this is kind of what I put together for the girls we play a lot with your logo in different ways so we'll just present like how we came up with that idea yeah and different we pretty much came up with two options we can do for a mid top shoe Okay, let me put this down, so it's out of the way. The function for us was the most difficult thing to kind of figure out. Mm -hmm. But pretty much what we've kind of discussed for free running shoes, we want to focus on like three particular points. That was that it had to have good traction to mm -hmm. grip on different materials. It had to be uh, barefoot so you can feel the surfaces of different stuff, mm -hmm. which we thought was quite important. And it had to be very lightweight. And then we focused on fabrications and the construction of it. We thought something like this, where it's a little bit PK, could be quite cool. What's PK? Um, when it's like this sort of texture. texture. Mm -hmm. okay. Looks a bit like a Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all the fabrics that I got here are all double bonded. So double right. bonded means like you can just see on the side. Yeah. Basically, here are just a few ideas in order how to use the floor. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> use the floor. Use the shoe, and the contrast that you see here could be like a neoprene. Mm -hmm. And then it could be like with a tape. The problem we get when it is different parts is yeah, that Yeah, exactly. That's why you wanted one rubber piece. Mm -hmm. um, for sole thickness, and the form, these both are actually really, really nice. Okay, could we keep it for measure? Is that the right everything? Is just the article number? No. 
get some food. I'm gonna leave these with you. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. Yeah, this is like a go boat. You can rent it out and you can like go on it across the river and stuff. What's the other sandwich? So it's neoprene, and, um, like we put your heel in. So the first touch of the heel is neoprene. The one with the tongue, and yeah. then you have. And here with the tongue, it's easy because here it goes all the way. Exactly. And for the other option to be here, and if it's only like an extra, where it's like here, that I don't know. No, I know we can get a neoprene in the heel. You have to reinforce it with something, otherwise, it's going to be too floppy. Like, yeah, but with then the knife, have like reinforced with like the fake peel and the suede on top of it. Like, I'm out, out, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but here, for example, you have like a cover stitch, and you have a cover stitch in here. Yeah, I'm that. super, I just want to learn about it, like, yeah. how to hear, like, what you, your thoughts and your approach and how you look at it and put it together and everything is super yeah. interesting, like, super fun for me to, to see you guys who have so much experience in it. It's more like, you know, if you want to communicate, mm -hmm. it's just super easy that you know, like, well, that's been the hardest thing for us is that we know we know when we like something, but it's really hard to communicate why you like it, what part of it you like yeah, it, exactly. how exactly to then create something that that matches that, that also gives you that feeling. So that's what you guys are good. That's your whole business is how do we communicate this creative idea to a factory that's yeah. not creative at all. They just execute. So, I can tell when, when we talk, you're like, so, what exactly do you mean? <laughs> what exact yeah. kind of, like, this kind it's of lady? learning by doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, go to the factories. I love going to factories. Mm -hmm. Hi. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm definitely late for my flight. Oh, oh my god, it's like a labyrinth. Here we go. So, before I head home, I wanted to just fill you in on where we are on the big timeline when it comes to the shoe process. What we're working on now is the tech pack, which is pretty much uh, an instruction manual on how to build a shoe. And this has to be on point because when we send it to the factory, we want everything to be as good as possible for when we get it back. So this will be a few weeks till the tech pack is done, then it will be a few more weeks until we get our very first prototype, hopefully, this summer. Then, we kind of don't know, we'll all really depend on how good our tech pack was, how happy we are with that very first shoe. And then it might take a few more samples, a few more prototypes, until we get to the point where we say now we're happy. And then we'll go into production, so all in all, the whole thing will probably take around a year, maybe longer. The cool thing is that we don't have to rush ourselves. We really want to take our time and make something good. So, yeah, bear with us. It's going to be a long journey. And thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>